Welcome Walters fans to Train Fest 2017. We're here this morning to give you a preview of our show booth so that if, especially if you're not able to make the show uh, or if you're looking for a preview of the show, you can see what you're gonna have in store. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we start out, we've got our Walters booth here. You can see it's a nice big booth. We're able to display everything we've got uh, that's relatively new. We wanna show you today, we've got some train sets on top here to start off with, the Ready for Fun train set. Starting off on the, uh, the Cornerstone podium here, we've got a brand new travel center, which I'm, I'm sure you've seen at this point, um, but it's got a gas station with some uh, consumer pumps and then also some diesel pumps. We've got a uh, car wash that goes along with it. We wanted to build up a diorama so that people could see it at the show and see all the details that go into this kit. You can see all the way around 360 degrees, it's, it's got a lot of detail to it. And then of course, this is great for having vehicles or for having figures. Um, that are in the scene that can then make, bring a lot of life to this particular portion of your HO scale layout. Moving on from there, we'll go on over to Walther's Proto. You can see we've got a poster for the George Washington and the first sample of the Heavyweight Railway Post Office Baggage. It's the first time this is being seen at the show this weekend. It's a good looking car. It's going to be even better looking when it's in the, the proper paint scheme. We'll move on over to the GP7, which is a pre-production sample that we brought. Here's the, the full poster with the, um, the actual prototype photos. We've got the pre-production sample here with the torpedo tubes on top. A lot of details into this locomotive. And this is coming in the spring of 2018, so you're going to get a lot of chances to see this in the next couple months. Move on up to the GP35 Phase 2, which is also a, a locomotive that's coming in about one month now, maybe a month and a half. And one thing that we are going to be doing for this video, um, for those of you at home watching, we're going to be showing these QR codes. And these QR codes, once you scan them, will take you right to the website so that you can get more information about any one of these products that we have them for. Um, it actually takes you to a live video. I shouldn't say a live video, but it's, it takes you to an episode of the Walther Showroom Update that we filmed previously on that subject. Moving on over, we've got the first showing of the samples of the F7s that are coming in about one month from Walther's Proto. You see we've got Union Pacific, VN, CN, CNO, a lot of road specific details. They're beautiful locomotives, they're beautiful models. We're really excited to bring these in. And of course, they're available with two unit sets as well, either in sound of DCC or in DC. Below that, one of my favorites of the show, um, we've got a pre-production sample of the 55-foot Trinity Modified 30,000 gallon tank car. And this is a, this is a new version, a, a more modern version of a tank car that we've released in the past. And you can see that it's got the new shield, the etched metal uh, shields and the, the platforms with the revised platforms. We've got the multi-valve housing on the top, which is a, a new feature as well, key spotting feature. And these are Cena Modern Rails. Over here we have the brand new Jordan Spreader. So for those of you, uh, those of you that were lucky enough to join us in Anna Marie, uh, Orlando for the National Train Show, you got a chance to see the first pre-production sample of this. This is now the second. There's a few subtle differences, especially the tank on the back is now vertically aligned, which, you know, the last one that we showed was horizontally aligned, the one that we've got online. This is the first time people are getting a chance to see the vertically aligned tank. There's also a, a headlight placement that's different on this one, and it's got road-specific features based on what that road had. And then at the top, we've got a poster for the E8s. Moving on over to the freight cars, we've got our AAR flat cars. Very nice detailed piece. We've got and um, we were right on the Gunderson 48-foot well car. You can see we've got it loaded up here with a variety of containers. Um, and we've got one of those QR codes. Again, you can, you can click on that, you can scan that, and then you'll go right to the video for these particular cars. Over here we've got some of the 48 footers, and with the 48 footers we mounted them with the trailers just to kind of show off how you know, this diverse car can either take containers or trailers. They're equipped with the trailer hitch. And then I'm gonna scoot over to the left here a little bit first before going on up to the, uh, the bulkhead flats. And we've got a lot of trailers and containers that we're displaying at the show. Uh, the Stoughton containers, or the Stoughton trailers, we've got the 35 foot trailers, all of which are 
Um, relatively new schemes either having just arrived or coming up soon. You can see we've got a lot of containers to choose from and a lot of different uh, modern and, and recent schemes. And then I'll move on back to the uh, bulkhead flats, which we just featured in a, um, a recent episode of the Walter Showroom update, so you can check that out. I'll give you the QR code in a minute, but you can see these beautiful cars are actually very nicely finished with the, the wrap lumber loads, um, which are all based on realistic schemes as well. And then here is that QR code. Again, you can scan this and go right to the video for that car. Okay, so now I'm going to gently move on us, move us on out over to the end where we've got one brand new announcement for Scene Master. We've got the Scene Master vehicles, uh, which we've just announced today in brand new styles, and we've also got uh, a new setup. We've got some new decals that we're doing for utility company decals, which you can see here. Um, which goes along with a lot of our cornerstone kits that are very popular that people have modeled over the years. Uh, we've also got some other maintenance of way trucks that we're introducing. Uh, those are very popular for us a few years ago. And then we've got a, a couple other just general utility trucks that we're introducing today as well. Next to that, we've got some Scene Master um, kits. We've got some kits for utility trucks. These are absolutely gorgeous models once they're built up. They're not that hard to build. Um, these have not been painted actually too. These are, these are the colors that they come in. Um, so once you have the full kit built up, it's exactly what it looks like. And those are available right now. Okay, moving on over to Mainline. So we've got a lot of Mainline at the show. Mainline is very popular right now. Um, we're starting off with the, the uh, cylindrical hoppers. We've got a brand new run that just recently came out you can see here and here's the QR code for the video on those we'll move on down to the Trinity 3281 covered hoppers it's the first time people are getting a chance to see these with the paint schemes uh, we showed them off at NMRA with the uh, the pre-production samples so you've got UP CSX Wisconsin Southern the good looking cars below that we've got the RD4 four bait covered or uh, open hoppers and then just to the right of that, we've got the 4427 covered hoppers. It's also a first chance people get a chance to see these good looking cars. They really turned out nicely. We've got new see-through running boards on this release that we just tooled up for this. And you can see they're very effective models. Very realistic looking. Santa Fe, Burlington, Milwaukee Road. For being such a, a plain lettering scheme, the Milwaukee Road is a really striking looking car. Okay, from there we're going to move on over to what I call our wall of box cars. And in Mainline, we actually we have so many box cars right now. We've got a lot of different prototypes that we're modeling. You can get a chance to see a sampling of what they are right now. We've got over 100 box cars available today. Um, so on the right hand side here, we start off with the Evans Smooth Side box car. Then we've got the 1944 AAR box car as well as the 1937 version. We've got a video there for you as well. From there, we've got PS1 boxcars, and these are all new schemes. And then below that, the pc and box boxcar, which we've now run twice. This is a brand new tool for us. It's a nice looking car. It's a 50 foot car. Um, it's a plug door car. And you can see there's a lot of attractive schemes on that tool. And then just to the left of that, very popular car for us, the 50 foot ACNF exterior post box car. And we've got uh, some schemes that are in stock right now, and then we've got some others that are coming in just a few months. And we have a video for that as well. Actually, that's the PCNF. Next up, locomotives and Walters Mainline. So this is the first chance people are getting to, to see these. This is a, a new run of SD70 Aces that was announced in the October Flyer. Um, so, so far to date, we've only shown paint schemes uh, and deco artwork. So this is really your first chance to get a chance to see the real production units. These are coming in about two months. Ferromex, fantastic scheme. And CN and the, um, the XEMD demonstrator scheme, they had three units in this. Very cool part of modern CN history. 
Uh, right to the left of that, also something that you may be getting your first look at, the GE Jivos. Um, we've got our first run here with CSX. This is a brand new tool for us. And these are coming in December. Most of them are sold out, but you should check with your local hobby shop. Um, I know we've, uh, we've sold a lot to hobby shops and you should always check there and, and see what they've got for inventory. Canadian Pacific and then UP on the bottom. And finally NS. And just to the left of that, we've got the SD60s, which arrived late this summer. Uh, we actually just announced a brand new detail kit for the SD50s, 60s, and then a separate one for the 60Ms. They've got a different uh, nose and hood contour and all that, so we, we have two separate kits. Here's a video for the SD60s. And then you can see um, the highlight of the show, the, the history package for the show is the Sioux line. So we've got a Sioux line there, CSX, CN, CNW, and Union Pacific. And just to the left of those, we've got our Plymouth M08 switchers. We've got three paint schemes there. We've got another four that are coming, uh, brand new paint schemes. Mighty little, mighty mouse switchers. My gosh, these things can pull. You can see the bicentennial, the orange, and the yellow. Give you a real up close look at the grills. Um, very fine details that are built into this locomotive. And I, I'm not joking when it comes to pulling power. In fact, uh, you can check it out for yourself. Here's a video that we did with the ML8s that shows off the pulling power. And then finally, we've got some SD60Ms, the three bay, the Triclops versions are coming soon. Uh, so we've got a poster of those here. Moving right along, we've got some brand new 50 foot exterior post mechanical reefers. These were first shown off at the, uh, they were first announced at the NMRA show this summer. Um, so now we've got the actual paint schemes. We've got production runs coming in about a month. So you get a chance to see them for yourself. Plug door, refrigerator unit, both body types. The, uh, the, the sides on the body are, are different. If I could have my hands leave the camera, I'd turn around and show you. Okay, moving right along. Sioux Line, as I, as I mentioned, Sioux Line is the feature road for TrainFest 2017. So we brought some other Sioux Line models to show off here at the show. To the left of that, we've got some 50-foot front runners with the 45-foot trailers. Very good-looking trailers, very good-looking TTX cars. And those come in uh, 10 different combinations. And then below that, we've got a Thrall rebuilt 40-foot well car. This is a uh, brand new tool that we announced at the NTS show in uh, August. And we've got a brand new uh, version here that, that uh, we just got in and built up for the show. You can see all the detail on this Walters mainline car. It's a fairly inexpensive car, $29.98. Um, but it's got a die cast body, so it's very well weighted. You can, you can run it empty or loaded, and it's going to track really, really well. And then the second new announcement that we have for this show, the all new 60 foot Pullman Standard General Service flat car. Now this is a, this is a flat car that's a backbone of TTX service. Um, there are various different types that, uh, that they made for different types of service. So we've got um, four different decks that you can see here for trailer loading, for heavy duty machini machi machinery <laughs> equipment, um, some general service, and then also for, uh, for container loading. You'll see a lot more about these soon. Very good looking cars. Um, these are 2798. These are coming in April. They just were announced at the show. Okay, let's move around. And uh, we're coming up on Cornerstone. You can see the breadth of what we have here at the show for Cornerstone. Um, starting off with our church, our brick church. And then we have a brand new farmhouse that we just announced two-story house with a garage and then we've got the separate garage kits these are these are all new kits that are either recently available or just just coming soon um, to the left of that we actually have the UPS theme which has been very very successful people are pretty excited about this um, you can see that there's a lot that you can do with these models in HO scale we've got a lot of trailers that we're showing off here we didn't have these before it's the first chance people get to see um, what the UPS trailers look like. 
and then the uh, international trucks as well. And then we show several of the other vehicles up above, including the package cars at the top. Very popular package cars. I think we're all familiar with those. Uh, and then right below the poster, we've got the UPS store. It's a very common looking brick structure, modern brick structure. Um, it does have some drop boxes. The one that we had for the show uh, was undecorated, so we'll be getting some decorated ones in soon and photographing those for you. And then we've got the UPS distribution center, which is a steel or a concrete tip up building. Uh, very typical of what UPS uses around the, the country. You can see there's an entrance, there's a customer service entrance. And then there's a drop box there. That's what the drop box will look like uh, printed from, from the box. And then we've also got printed UPS signs. You've got the one there and then you've got the signs that go on the building itself. And then we've also got two versions of those signs. One that's um, with the more classic bow tie scheme and then one with the modern shield that you see here. So moving on from there, we've got a Culver's kit. Um, for those of you that are in the 26 states that Culver's is currently located in, uh, you know exactly what this is. For those of you that don't, it's a custard and burger place. It's a, it's a really wonderful franchise. Very good food, very good custard. Uh, somewhat akin to other franchise structures that we've made in the past where the signs are printed and it has a very authentic look. And then just above that, we've got the uh, modern storefront, which it's a very good complement to the UPS store that you, you saw just a few minutes ago. Very common um, building type that you would see today. In fact, our local Hobby Town store is located in a building just like this. Those are coming in March. And then on the end over here, we've got the Walters N Scale kits. We've got Prairie Co-op on the top. Very nice looking kit. Um, center of any you know, small town or village or, or whatever. It's got a lot of rail service that goes through a structure like that. Uh, central beverage, also both rail and road serve. Below that we've got the Dairy Queen and the Vintage Dairy Queen, DQ Grill and Chill here. And then we've got Merchants Row 1, which is basically, you know, five buildings in one. Okay, below those, got a first look at our SW1200s, which are coming out soon. Um, we've got eight different paint schemes. These are mostly sold out with us, so again, like I mentioned before about the Jivo units uh, and HO scale, check with your local hobby shop. Uh, these should be available. A couple things left to show you. We've got the brand new Walters layout control system. Um, we are doing a lot of media on this. We're doing a lot of video demonstrations of the control system uh, being installed and in use. It's a very simple push button control system. You can also run DCC with it. So you can see we've got our DCC cab. I'll show you this in operation. Um, it's deceptively simple. You may look at this and say, boy, that looks complex. It is absolutely not. It's a very simple system, easy to install, easy to operate. You can do it with push button operation. Here we've got crossover not sure if that showed up on the video or not but um, you can get a sense of what it is we're also going to be hosting a new uh, new landing page on our website that shows off exactly how you install and operate it um, and then finally probably the coolest display that we have at the show our bridge series and cornerstone so we've got all sorts of different types of bridges that are on display here some deck bridges in the back with some some steel trusses. Uh, we've got the through girder bridge, some arch bridgeways, uh, the Pratt deck truss bridge, and some other deck truss bridges. And this is all from the Cornerstone Engineer Bridge series. The whole point of this series is that it's real easy to string these things together and model them together. Uh, and they're they're meant they're designed to fit together very easily. Um, so that when you go to install them, whatever combination of bridges that you feel appropriate for your layout, it's really easy to put together. Okay, so then the third bridge diorama that we have is actually the brand new Urban Bridge series. So you can see we've got the, and I'm going to go around the other side so you can see better, but you can see we've got the, um, the overpasses and the commuter station. Move on over here. 
got a CNW uh, small commuter train that's modeling this for us. And there we've got the retaining walls, the overpass, the commuter station with some commuters traveling. And then we've got a concrete overpass as well with the, uh, the, smaller, the smaller concrete walls. It's a very nice diorama we were able to put together for the show. Uh, it could look very nice on your layout as well. So, that's our booth for Train Fest 2017. Thank you very much for joining me. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, you know, it's, we're, we're trying to do our best here. Thank you for sticking with us. Hope to see you at the show.